Hey, this is Subspace Transmissions. I'm Tyler. And I'm Cam. Well, news just broke, Cam, that a Captain Picard revival might be in the works. No from, way. From the mind of one Alex Kurtzman, who just signed a new deal with CBS worth $25 million over five years. It's about half of what I make doing this podcast, but Obviously. I'll let him have this. But uh, <laughs> Cam, are you, I guess... Somewhat excited? Or are you taking a, a bit of a long view on, on what the potential of a Captain Picard revival series could mean at the hands of one Alex Kurtzman? You have my attention with this announcement, but you don't quite have me fully on board. Okay, I so think I am more curious than confident. And I think what it comes down to is you've got the concept, and I think any concept in which you bring back such an iconic, well-loved character played by the original actor. Yeah. And look, Patrick Stewart showed us recently in, say, a movie like Logan, the guy still has chops. Sure. He could totally pull this off. But then you come down to execution, and we do have question marks about how well the execution is going to be on this one. I think Kurtzman, I, I've seen a lot of the past TV shows that he's written for, I, I think TV could be like a, a better medium for him than maybe we've seen from some of his Hollywood output. The I'll, Mummy? The Mummy was not so well beloved, uh, yeah. but I, I did think that Star Trek 2009, like he contributed sure. quite a bit to that. Yeah. It was great. I, I don't know about Into Darkness here, but so far, look, he shepherded the series and he's going to be taking over as sole showrunner moving forward. He shepherded season one of Discovery in, in a way that I thought was fair. And yeah. so I, I think that there is potential here for a Captain Picard revival to actually work in this case. Yeah, I think the thing that fans maybe need to think about, though, with like a Captain Picard relaunch under Kurtzman is that I think when they think about what this perspective show is, they're thinking of TNG. TNG is a very specific feel. Um, it's a very specific look to what that show is. This is going to operate under Kurtzman aesthetics and what does that mean? And as well as Akiva Goldsman, who's also involved with the Picard spinoff. Um, so, like, what does that even look like? I don't even know. I mean, a lot of people don't like Nemesis. It, they say it's, you know, too dark or too mean-spirited. Well, that was also a Picard story under a different creative vision. So, like, I don't even know what to expect. I'm not thinking of the TNG replica I, universe. I, I would say that it'd be a fool's errand to try to capture lightning in a bottle twice and do kind no, of... No, no, message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Yeah. And uh, try to recapture that TNG spirit to a certain degree. I think what you need to do is have a series centered around Captain Picard with an all new crew. You're obviously going to have guest stars like maybe a war for a Riker or a Crusher every once in a while. Yeah. I'm totally down with that. I Wesley think, Crusher. A Wesley Crusher with a Traveler. Mm -hmm. I think this would actually work maybe better as a miniseries. We don't know exactly. And this is all just conjecture. This is all just rumor at this point. But if it is like a a property for CBS All Access, I have to believe that Patrick Stewart probably just sign up with a big paycheck sure. for just like a mini series, maybe a 10 episode revival here. Right. And I, I think that would be kind of the better format going forward. Well, right. I mean, you know, Patrick Stewart will probably be in his early 80s by the time this thing launches in theory. I mean, I don't know that they're looking at a long term series. I don't think they're looking no, at like, no. you know, we want a seven season Picard <laughs> spinoff. It just doesn't really make sense. And so. Yeah, I mean, I think as a as a kind of a standalone miniseries or whatever this sort of short format could potentially be, like if it is a short format, I think that's the best way to approach it and look at it as kind of a wrap up to the life of Picard on Star Trek. I think that is an interesting story to tell, kind of like Logan starring Patrick Stewart did in that it told us the final Wolverine story. I'd be interested, and I don't mean I want the death of Picard story. I mean, kind of like the end story for Picard. Like what is you know, maybe his exit from Starfleet. And I think All Good Things could have been a very graceful exit for the character. <laughs> Who it... cares about graceful exits? <laughs> but you know, I, I think yeah. this is actually a chance to right some of the wrongs that we saw throughout the film franchise and give the character a much better exit that he had in Star Trek Nemesis, which sure. he, w he was also involved in that. I have to believe one Patrick Stewart would be getting a producer's credit on this one. I, I feel like have... he may have some input. Yeah, but I also hope that they take away a bit of the action hero Picard that we saw in the latter movies and return more to what Picard did best. And he really embodied kind of that TV format where he's Picard the diplomat most of the time. Yeah. And I think if we go back to that and that's what he's doing, he's guiding a new crew on diplomatic missions. 
he's having a lot of philosophical d- debates. I think that would be something that I'm I'm genuinely intrigued in. Yeah. And I, I think Kurtzman, I, I have enough faith in him just based on what I've seen him do on TV so far that, yeah, he could shepherd the way for something strong in this regard. I don't want to see uh, Picard trying to do like the Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull where it's like, I remember a lot of the press was like, this is going to be about Indy embracing aging. And that would have brought some depth to a character who previously not gone through a lot of character growth. Um, and, I, you know, ultimately, it didn't. It was yeah. like one or two mentions, but here he is out running fire ants. Um, maybe, you know, Indiana Jones 5 will do it properly. But I don't want to see Picard doing that. I don't want to see, like, yeah, he's 30 years older and he makes a couple of jokes about his back, but he's still out there, you know, racing dune buggies. I think that would be pretty weak. Yeah, and if there's one thing that we know that Star Trek likes to embrace, it's a Tales of Mortality. Oh, yes. 